Hey YouTubers, Christian here at Fedhead Ed, wanting to put out this video because I wanted to talk about some things that ever since I started my channel about three months ago that had on the back of my mind and essentially that was also the whole channel itself is about uh, just hobbies, things that I do for fun, entertainment purposes only and although I do hope that some of the information also helps people just know that I'm just another random person on YouTube and that's what makes the world of the internet fun is that you can have so many different sources of information to compare to see new things to learn and it's just awesome so I'm just throwing out uh, my opinions and uh, what I know right out here hopefully it might be helpful to somebody but um, it is what it is and uh, starting on that essentially I just wanted to talk about how my uh, investment portfolios and like essentially what I would call a portfolio but like how I started doing it ever since the beginning uh, went the progression from what I would say around high school up to right now where I'm in my early 30s and that is essentially uh, before high school, you know, kid, you like to have fun and some parent, you know, your parents and family members might take care of you and, uh, you know, keep an eye on finances and things. So usually you're not too involved. But around high school, you start being aware of the value of money more and more and uh, wanting to, you know, get your own things. And so, it, you know, it's one of those things that becomes more aware. And we started playing a stock market simulator game. All the classes basically for high school uh, history classes on our floor started playing it and the seniors were the only ones that were eligible for an actual prize which was a bummer because at the end I ended up winning the whole game but uh, essentially so we played I think it was for like a month and then uh, we'd compare who won the most and then the prizes the grand prize was going out to New York and going to the stock exchange having a hotel meeting people whatever but I didn't get that but at least it lit the fire under me so now I got interested and around that time essentially I got you know even before that I had little things that I had from childhood my parents you know they always taught me to save things and I used to go a lot out with my dad at garage sales and stuff we haven't gone out much uh, lately and it's just one of those things we have a lot around and I've collected so I started learning about you know selling little things here and there to friends and putting online too that was around the uh, yeah it was just it was a great it was a great experience at least to start off learning how to save and sell and um, so around high school we started playing this game I won learned how to do and it got me interested so I just every now and then I'd keep checking in on the market and playing things and then I finally set an, ended up setting up an account and uh, that was back in the day with like Scott trade and stuff that's closed down now account transferred over to TD Ameritrade or whatever but uh, that's neither here nor there but the point is played around with some stuff and uh, started to learn and over the years you know also with my parents and things and since I've been blessed in a middle class what I'd say family and uh, great parents and since I was an only child got their blessings as well so more attention but I was able to do things along the way that um, yeah maybe not everybody might have access to but I'm very happy for and I learned a lot and uh, I live a pretty Spartan living pretty humble. I, I'm not one of those crazy people that I mean like not crazy But I you know likes to go out and splurge on a lot of luxury goods, you know just for fun or whatever like no, I'm <laughs> I avoid going out to things unless I really have to and if I go like you know for fun with friends and things I'll do that, but I'm not one to spend money like you know like things like bars where you're spending 700 plus percent on a drink or something and just little things like that like you know I'll go but I'm not gonna throw away my wallet when I know that I could be investing that money or like Starbucks or like you know even sometimes certain types of food some things are a value but you know at a certain age around that time high school you start learning about what to spend money on and what not to and that's around when a lot of my friends got their first jobs and when I ended up getting my first job which was a restaurant and um I started seeing how things were and everybody going different places but I was like nah I, I just can't be part of this like I just it, at a certain point it kind of wears on you and you want to change so I started doing different types of investments saving and mainly starting with blue chip stocks and uh, things that I call defensive stocks but doing some personal picks along the way which were a lot of the times quite right 
and in the stock market you know things can go up and down and like any market basically but you got to be prepared for the fluctuations luckily I, I planned things out and I was I was blessed I was lucky and um, I progressed and now like I've opened several other accounts and I even wanted to uh, kind of film two or three of these accounts that opened up just in the recent 2020 just for fun and uh, the progression on them since uh, at least a couple of them were pretty wild and the other one uh, I just opened pretty much a couple weeks ago and just threw some money in haven't really made any trades but that was a Weeble account that basically when you open it you get uh, free stock so put in a hundred dollars or two hundred bucks and got some free money essentially out of them I'll put the link below so check that out too uh, if you're interested in getting that and I'll get something too so that's cool um, but I uh, also got like some Robin Hood one that you essentially like you know play on that and they gave some free stocks too but um, these I wanted to videotape along the way but with work and other side things family side things and uh, my business going on in the side as well it was just a lot of things at once and I still haven't completely learned how to do video editing and all the proper stuff so I want to do something more professional this is just an introduction to me and why I do what I do and how I got there but um, so from high school on I've been you know slowly saving investing doing different things and uh, all the last uh, you know 2020 has been kind of crazy in terms of the world and what happened which was a big bummer uh, in terms of the market it's been uh, quite a bull market and uh, been uh, I've been happy at least in terms of my investments and that's one thing that people have to be aware of these things when when these types of turmoils happen and then there's a lot of uh, fluctuations in the market this is when usually the big players the big whales they start making even more money because people with scared hands cash out and they just basically pick up all the pieces of gold that scared people dropped in the streets and I know that there's a quote about essentially more millionaires are made during recessions during other times and periods in history but uh, it's something that I'd say is probably true especially depending on how people trade and like what they do but yeah uh, and along those lines why am I putting out this video because I just want to say why I got interested how I am where I am now which is after quite a few years I've been putting some things to the side and also just even recently when I got my stimulus check I opened up a Robin Hood account just for fun essentially and threw that money in with my uh, unemployment check that I was getting and checks uh, but that went quite well and uh, yeah I did some other one shortly after I opened up another account too and there was just uh, a lot of good things but um, I'll be sharing those along the way here and hopefully you can join me on the journey it's I'm not a millionaire yet but hopefully make some good picks along the way and might be something nice to compare you know anybody out there if you're checking out or considering things maybe some helpful tidbits of information uh, but it's just something that yeah let's see how things go and I think that 2020 is going to be an interesting year for investments there's going to be a decent bit of movement um, especially starting off early there might be some shakiness but uh, let's see how things go certain sectors are going to do especially better than other ones uh, especially considering the new administration's plan so I'm going to do more videos regarding specifics on those types of things but um, yeah got a plan ahead hopefully everything will work out and uh, you know have everything prepared just in case so uh, let follow me again like I said on my journey if you like these types of videos subscribe follow for more comment below what you think a different type of uh, portfolio and what you're thinking about 2020 maybe should uh, how it should influence these things let me know and um, essentially I'll be posting more videos about some more specific things along the way too that might be helpful and I appreciate everybody for joining me here I wish everybody the best trading and everybody take care. See y'all around next time. Thanks.